May is a popular month for movers. Unfortunately, it's also popular for scammers disguised as moving companies. And that's not the only ploy to watch out for in May. Steve Burness, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau, is here with details. Good morning to you, Steve. Morning, Samantha. How are you? Now, what cautions does the Better Business Bureau have for people who are looking to pick a mover? Well, obviously, there's a lot of great movers out there, but unfortunately, there's some bad actors who ruin it for everybody else. So, Samantha, we want consumers to check on that mover, make sure they're licensed and registered before doing business with them. I think a lot of times consumers are just trying to find a quick mover to move on a specific date, and they kind of open the phone book or look on Google without doing any research. And that's what happens. You find an unlicensed, uninsured uh, mover, and you can be in trouble. How do you make sure that a moving company is licensed and insured? Is there a, a universal site where people can check? What, what, what exactly can they do? Well, they do some research. Obviously, you can contact the Better Business Bureau, see what the report is. We also teamed up with the Illinois Commerce Commission. They do the licensing of movers to mm -hmm. check with their agency, make sure they're, they're licensed. And they also have tips on moving as well. But it's just being very careful and making sure you're dealing with a reputable organization. Question, do most movers ask you to pay everything up front? What should people do in terms of payment? No, the scammers usually ask you to pay everything up front. So we ask you to usually ask for a deposit. And then when you do move, they will ask for the remainder of the money once you're satisfied. So be careful anybody asking for cash or anybody making out a personal check to somebody else than other than the moving company itself. Very good advice, Steve. Let's talk about prom. Of course, prom season is upon us, um, but you all are seeing that, you know, some parents and teens could actually be ripped off by companies. Tell us what kind of scams you see around prom season. Well, the scammers always also take people to the prom. Unfortunately, we see that all the time. We got fake websites that you'll obviously have limousines and, and rental of tuxedos and other clothes for the event. So you just got to be very careful. It's a perennial problem. Uh, there are great businesses out there. Unfortunately, the scammers are also tend to take care of this as well, the bad business. So read the contracts. Make sure you read the fine print and do not leave a, a full deposit on anything. You always make a, a small deposit and pay, obviously, hopefully later later on. And as the refund policy, if you want to get out. And Steve, we're also getting closer to June, uh, which is wedding season, of course. Um, what are some some scams that you see around around wedding season? Well, we see a lot where wedding expos because a lot of times the couples don't want to do it all individually, florists, you know, whatever it may be, a restaurant. So everything is in one place. But unfortunately, there are some bad businesses and there are some scammers out there as well. So you have to do some research on them. The trouble is, is that sometimes they have these one day deals or you have to sign now. And that's not right because you need to do your due diligence and check out the company itself, check out the referrals. When they rush you into something like that, you don't have the opportunity to read the contract and understand the contract. So while wedding expos are safe, you still have to do your research on those organizations before you give them the deposit, before you give them information about yourself. All great tips, Steve. Steve Burness with the Better Business Bureau. Steve, we appreciate you always. And for more information on how to avoid these scams, head over to our website at abc7chicago.com. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.